Okay, we're going to be using a T20, T20 torch. I'm going to have two screws. We're using a T20 Torx. We're gonna move the remove the plastic casing to get to the wire plug. This is a T30 Torx. T30 torques as well. That's how you remove the rear air vent. Alright, so to fully remove the side panel, you do have to remove the air vents. We kind of skipped that step. We kind of did it last. Um, it was holding on to these sides, and there's the two clips. You gotta lift them out of it too. Alright, so this is the passenger side. Let's start off from the bottom, not the top.
Roma, снизу вас и потянешь ее от стени гена и потом вниз она поедет. Она сейчас, наверное, в клип обратно села и все. Где он та ерунда? Ты не можешь рукой оттянуть ее? Где у тебя там эта ерунда торчит? Ее оттянуть не получается? Она там замкнулась. Нет, она не замкнулась. Ой, тут очень сильно она. So it locks it on top. You're gonna have to, once you pop it out of the clips, you gotta pull it down. Uh, driver's side is a little bit easier. The passenger side, we have the seat in here, so it's a little difficult. And we can't move the seat, so we're kind of stuck around it. But that's the two clips, or three clips towards the bottom. Once you pop those out, you gotta pull the whole thing down. All right, so if you're doing the command unit, just the switch is the knob. Uh, you gotta remove the right side panel and you're gonna be able to get to the two plugs for the unit, this controller. So this is the one of the plugs. It's kind of difficult for me to get in here, so it's the best I could do. So this thing comes out with the blue clip that clips into the dashboard or the centerpiece. To get rid of this, to unlock this blue clip, you just gotta twist it out of this. You can see it right here. Once you twist it, you're gonna be able to lift it up. That way you don't break the sliding clip that the plug sits on. For instance, this one right here, we end up breaking it off. Let's see if we can get you a video how to take it off. Рома, попробуй снять этот синий, который сломался снизу, да. So you twist it and then it just pops out. This is it. Okay, so this is the simply. So you actually had one plug. I, for some reason, I've seen two before, but I guess it's one. So it's not too difficult. You gotta slide the, you gotta slide it down, it's like this. So start off from the bottom, once you hook the bottom, just kind of slide it down, it'll come out. Uh, 
посмотрим. Now we're gonna be removing the knee airbag, driver side. We're using T25 Torx. Towards the back. I think there's two of them. Come show you now. No more story. So you pull this tab, it unlocks it, you pop the plug out, that's how it is. We're going to remove this panel out of the way completely. So we're just going to disconnect everything off of it. We're using a Phillips. There's a screw behind the hood, hood lever. So this is the panel. We're using T25 Torx. Got another T25 Torx screw. have this panel cover off already and there's a screw that's missing right here. I'm not sure if it was something to do with that. It was already off a little bit for me. We already got some screws off right here. So you're gonna have two Torx right here, one right here. And once they're off you're gonna be able to pop out this trim. Okay, there's actually a T20 Torx right under this speedometer. Okay, there's another two screws right here. T20 Torx. So you would have to remove the trim under the speedometer, the navigation. I'm not sure if the speedometer has to come out, but we have it out this far out. We're not going to remove this piece all the way through because 
we can't open at the other side door yet to get the screws out over there on the side. So we're gonna skip that step for now, but we moved that out of the way to get to these torques. All right, so we're using a T30 Torx to remove these two screws. 25. 25, T25 Torx. And we already have the side unscrewed where the navigation unit is. There will be screws alongside right here. So a lot of work goes into here to simply remove the knee airbag. So you gotta partially disassemble the center console as well. Okay, so you gotta open up the armrest. Alright, so we're gonna have to remove the center console internals. Um, this piece does slide under it. We're using a um, spoke of that's T20 Torx. Let's see if this is gonna give us room now. We're gonna remove the other side as well. So a lot of work goes into remove the new airbag on this car. So as you can see, pretty much you gotta disassemble navigation, cluster area, center console. So that's your EIS module. Pop out the little orange clip. I can't really get you a better angle at this. Try to use a really skinny small flathead. Make sure battery is disconnected. Okay, now you have the headlight switch, the fuse box. See if we can separate the fuse box and leave it alone with the harness. Alright, so um, we're gonna do T20 
to show you how to remove the headlight. So you gotta unscrew the side screw. It's gonna be a torch most likely. And from the back, it's just on a clip-on retainer type of thing. So it just basically pops out. You could probably do it without removing this whole panel. Uh, we removed the panel for the airbag, but this is one of the parts that you're gonna be most likely trying to remove. If it's not coming out, you could try to reach in through the fuse box area and just kind of press on those two, two metal tabs. Same thing with the e-brake switch. This is your EIS module for the ignition. Um, to take this off, you would basically see if I could get the key out. You gotta spin this ring. I'm not gonna do it right now, but basically you gotta spin, spin the chrome ring and it's gonna unlock it and you could just pull the EIS module back 